Matt and I just had a delicious supper and we've come outside to do some work. We're going to work on this little strip between the house and the steps. Our supper was really good though. We had stew beef. We had some potatoes with the stew beef that we canned last year. I think that may have been our last jar of potatoes and that's the first time we've ever canned potatoes but we, we really liked it so I'm sure we'll do it again. Had some okra from last year's garden and then we had some cornbread so it was really a tasty meal. And I come outside and pulled us some little green onions. They weren't really big enough but I just couldn't resist and I've got Matt two little ones and me two little ones and they just it just set the meal off didn't it Matt? Absolutely. Just that taste. They really needed to be a little bit bigger, but they were still so good. Just made the made the supper, give it some flavor, all of it. I don't know what it is about fresh stuff like that, but somehow it just sets off all the rest of what you're eating. So the first thing we're going to do over here, Matt's working right now to kind of put a stop down at the bottom, just putting some rocks down there. And then we're going to put some mulch and some dirt, and I'm going to go up to the greenhouse and pick out the plants that I got at Satterfield's Nursery so that we can put them in. So Matt's adding some of the mulch. When they dug up the, dug, had to dig up to actually put the steps here, they dug up a lot of this. This is the kind of rocks we have. So it's nice. They just kind of made a layer of them down through here. So we'll just leave those and cover them up and plant around them. The only things I have growing in this part is you can see right here is some blood root. And then I have some up here at the top too, little blood root. There's a little bitty one, little tiny one. So blood roots are just wildflowers. And years ago, when Matt and I first moved in here, I planted, I found one maybe at the edge of the woods and I brought it over here. And then it's, they've kind of naturalized in a few places around our house and I just love them. I love the pretty leaf as much as I do the, the white bloom. So this is some of the plants that I got that I was thinking would do really good there. We call this thrift, Granny always did. You can see it growing on a lot of banks um, and roadsides, of, like the driveways in alongside the driveways in Appalachia, and I'm sure in other places too. It stays really low to the ground. It won't get any taller than this. But the actual name of it is um, Creeping Flocks. So there's, I got these, this color, this kind of purple color and this pink color, really pretty. And then this is some thyme, two different kinds of thyme that I got. And I think I'm gonna to try to put them up here towards the top, maybe not over there. I don't know. I'm not sure about where I'm gonna put them yet, but maybe I'll be able to divide some of the thrift and make it stretch out further. I'll have to undo one of them to actually see if that's possible. Broke open in water. Oh, I thought you was drinking emergency. Matt's drinking ginger. Still, I thought it was an emergency. He's making this face. Is it strong? A little bit, and I'll try it. No. no. You can't have it anyway. Mm -hmm. It's not good for your innards. <laughs> You're silly. Yeah. Well, how long did that take us? About 45 minutes or something? Uh, six, seven hours anyway. <laughs> it did not take six or seven hours. It feels like. It would be dark if it was. Took yeah, us about 30 minutes. About 45. About 45 yeah. minutes, yeah. Well, I said that first, 45. Yeah, but it's not correct until I say it. Okay. Anyway, I'm glad to get that done. More flowers in the, in the ground. And while Matt had the mulch, he helped me go ahead and mulch out the rest of the flowers that I'd already planted earlier this week. So now all that is set to rest, and it can do what it's going to do or not do what it's going to do, right? Yeah. I think that'll be real pretty by the steps though. It'll just take, it's one of those things you, it'll take till next year to actually see your vision uh, come true because it takes so long for the plants to take root and flourish and if they're gonna flourish and all that. But it'll be pretty, won't it? Yes. Yeah. I love the steps. Good. Yeah, they turned out really nice. Much quicker going up and down and up and down instead of having to go all the way around or risk your life by going straight down the bank. It took me a month to remember those air. I kept going around <laughs> like we have for all these years and I kept going around there and looking and then I saw the steps. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, Corey was doing that too. One day she was going to her car. I'm like, why don't, why don't you go down the steps? Her car's right there. She was going the long way around. She's like, oh, I forgot. 
it is hard to remember. I'm just so excited about them. I like just going up and down them. When you're not here, I just go out there and go up and down them. Nice. Do you seesaw too? <laughs> I would if I had a seesaw. Would you make me one? Nah, I probably could. Oh, goodness. It's a busy time of the year for us, but an exciting time too, because we love that fresh garden bounty and getting to taste those little onions tonight. Oh, just made it good. made it so real. The whole meal was good, but that just something eating something fresh. Whether you got on up in the summer, if you've got cucumbers and tomatoes, just to add something to your meal. Mm -hmm. That yeah. okra was so good. The okra was good too. From my, it was from last year, but it was good. It was good. I love it. That's one of my favorite, favorite things. Fried okra. Yep. It's good. And if it kills me, it just will because I'm going to keep eating it. Yeah, well, I don't Fried. Know. And I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it roasted, though, and I don't even mind it boiled. Like if it's mixed with other stuff, I wouldn't just want boiled okra. But if it's in like soups it or something like that, I don't mind it. Anyway. Getting to eat something like that makes you realize it's all worth it. Yeah. All the hard work. That's the uh, satisfaction and the joy of it, is then getting to actually harvest the goodness. And I mean, it's good for you. It's better for you than that. Maybe not if we drench it in uh, oil like Matt's fried okra. Uh, but still, it's good for you to eat out of the garden. But it's just so rewarding to know you worked and nourished it and it grew and, you know, God blessed it. and. Mm -hmm. Then we harvested it and got to eat it. And like the potatoes and the okra we ate tonight were from last year. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Yep. Good feeling. I guess you worked hard already today, didn't you? A little bit. Not as hard as some days, but I was pretty busy. I did save your life though just a little while ago. Yeah, I had a big giant spider on me and I didn't see it and Matt said, get that off of you and I'm like, what, what? I never looked down, thank goodness, till it was a big wolfie. Wolfie is what Cory and Caddy call them. It was a pretty big one. It was a big one, yeah. It, it was in the mulch, I'm sure, probably where it had been living. We're going to have to order some more mulch. Well, don't you want, you know, we got to do them beds. We got to do the beds. We better get it coming. Yeah, we're going to have to rest up for this weekend. And that's what our, that's our goal, isn't it? To finish the beds. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because how many weeks till planting time? Three. Three. Yeah, we better get on it. We don't even know what we're going to put in them, but we better get on it. So we hope that you'll drop back by and visit with us this weekend when we make a Herculean effort to get all the beds filled, every last one of them. How many is that? Too many. Too many. We've got one totally filled, one almost filled, and then the rest, all I've done is put, I did put some like wood pieces and cardboard in the, in the bottom. So lots of work for us to do. We're always grateful though when you stop by to visit with us here in the mountains of Appalachia. Good. Yeah. I'd strip off naked and go in. No, I used to have to do that to Corn Caddy. They'd get so dirty and make them go in, go through the basement and discard their clothes and then go take, go straight to the bathtub. I've had to do that a few times. Yeah. Just not here. You see that dogwood right up there? Uh, yeah. What do you want it down no, here? No, I'm just pointing it out. I used to have a service tree back there and it's been gone for I don't know when. I don't know what happened to it. Something. I like to have a service tree. There's that one down at the garden, at the old big garden. It looks like it would. You know, there'd be some little ones coming up around it, but I don't really see any little ones. Just see the one, and it ain't a big one. It's kind of spindly. Yeah. One thing working like this makes you sleep good. 
Sometimes it does, and sometimes it don't for me. For you, you get too tired. Sometimes. I just toss and turn and wake up real tired. Mm. Well, hopefully not tonight. I mean, Corey's growing catnip this year. You can drink your catnip tea and make you sleep. Really? Yeah. Those people used to give to their fussy babies. What are you saying? You're a fussy baby. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just saying it might help you sleep if you were overly tired like that. You don't have trouble sleeping these days, though. Not much, but sometimes I get... If I'm overly tired and my joints hurt like crazy, then they'll keep me up mm. like they're doing now. Mm. One thing, and one other thing we got to do is uh, Granny's chomping at the bit for me to plant her onions, and I'm trying to tell her to wait till we shouldn't we wait till we till down there. Yeah, I mean it'd be hard to till around them. Yeah, that's what I told her. So I'm gonna stay with her tomorrow. I'm sure she's gonna be wanting me to get out there and plant her onions. I ain't sure I couldn't just go <laughs> take that little bitty tiller down there and do that that whole place. You mean that one you got from Stacy? Yeah. Maybe. I know I could. That, not this upper newer part. It's too tough. Yeah, but that, I don't, that, but that other part I could. Yeah. And it'd be a whole lot easier to handle in there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this week's been nice weather though. Gosh, yeah. It's supposed to be nice again next week too. It's supposed to rain. Stacy said it's gonna rain in the morning. Hmm. Or yeah, like ten in the morning, just a chance of it. Hmm. And then tomorrow night. And Friday. Friday a little bit, and then Sunday, and then the, another dry week next week. Hmm. That should be good. We don't have, I mean, we can't hurry that, but we'll have to wait till May. But plant our peppers. We're going to have peppers in the greenhouse. I seen a bloom. Really? Yeah. I planted them too early, I think. Where are you going to put them? I don't know. Maybe out there where we usually put them, or we could put them in one of the raised beds. Yeah. We'd have to kind of stake them up. Yeah, we usually do out there, yeah. too. I just didn't know if it'd be harder in the raised beds. Maybe get something to do some staking with instead of this junk we've been using. We need some more cattle panels too, because at least maybe that real long one, some one of those I want to put a cattle panel and grow more beans on. I've got so many beans I want to try this year. Which I guess I could just do like three or four and three or four and three or four and mark them good and do it that way. Mark them good, you say? Yeah. Like I you never usually do. do. I know. I'm, if I do, I mix them up. I have a terrible time at that. I'm yeah. just too impatient, and somehow I make myself believe I'll remember, which is such a joke. No, you can't remember. I'm not going to remember. I can't either. Mm -mm. And then I'm in a hurry in the moment, and I just think, well, I'll write it down when I go in, and no, I don't do that either. And then I don't mark them. No, I don't know what they are. We eat them, though. Yeah, we eat them. We just don't know what they are. Well, yeah. I mean, some stuff you can tell, but yeah, there's some stuff. I don't know. You ready to go in? One, two, three. All right, come on. Let me up. 